The video from inside an Albuquerque school bus as it rolled over after a suspected street racer crashed right into it has gone national. People all over the country just can't believe these kids weren't more seriously hurt. And if this is your first time seeing that video, well, we got to warn you, it is tough to watch. The impact through those local middle school students all over that bus back in February. One of them shattered her pelvis, another broke his leg. This video compelled a local state representative to reach out to us and his colleagues. You see, he supported legislation at the state level back in 2019 to put seat belts on all new school buses, but it didn't go anywhere. So now he's asking his fellow lawmakers to reconsider. Julie Friendback is following this story for us tonight, talking with legislators, parents, even students, Julie, about the idea. And so far, you found plenty of support for it. Absolutely. We did, Tessa. Parents and students we talked to this afternoon think seatbelts on school buses is a great idea. But they are on the fence as to whether they think legislators can actually make it happen. Still, though, they hope safety can come first at our roundhouse. Positive feedback. Yeah, I think it would definitely be a great idea. I, I do think it's a good idea. About something New Mexico legislators have tried once before. What we were looking at is child safety. What is our most valuable resource, and it is children. State Representative Bill Ream co-sponsored a bill in 2019 that would have added seat belts and other stability control to newly purchased school buses across New Mexico. It's looking at the safety features that we have on automobiles and applying those to school buses. The bill made it through the House before dying in the Senate Education Committee. Representative Ream said it came down to money. I think that it's time for us to advance. There's many other states that have this requirement. This startling video prompted Representative Ream to send an email to all members of the Senate Education Committee asking them to reconsider the seatbelt proposal during the next legislative session. But had the kids had seatbelts, they wouldn't have been flying through the vehicle. Parents and students say the investment would be worth it. Sometimes it's not even the bus driver's fault, it's just the other cars around it, and you can't really control, you know, how every other person drives. We need seat belts in our cars, so yeah, it's necessary. Would you wear one if it was on the bus? Yeah. Yes, I would definitely. Representative Ream believes the concern with costs definitely shouldn't be an issue this time around. Now, clearly, we have plenty of money right now. And, you know, safety of our kids should be one of the number one items that we look at. At least eight states have school bus uh, seatbelt requirements, including Texas, California, and Nevada. Representative Ream says he hasn't heard back yet from any of the Senate Education Committee members he reached out to. Tessa, we also reached out to them, several of them, for comment today on whether they'd support it, but also have not heard back just yet. All right, well, we'll see what happens come January. Mm -hmm. Julie, thanks.